They put a lot of work in in the off season to make sure they're going to be able to give these guys more when they came back. And uh, there have been some changes, but I think they're going to work out extremely well. Mike, a few people, a few players released today. Um, are some of those just injury situations? Yeah, yeah. I think around the league you see that guys, you know, don't survive. They probably come in with something already nagging at them and they just can't last in the first three or four days, right? So it's unfortunate. Uh, but we do got to get down to a number two. So um, it certainly allows the guys that are physically able to compete to stick around, right? You don't have to make any, you don't have to make those decisions. Would there be a chance of some of those guys coming back? Uh, not off the top of my head, no. Different feel this year, Mike, with just how much competition there is. Like a lot of guys talking about enjoying the fact that there's open spaces and, and, and kind of bringing a little bit of a jump to the camp because of, of the competition. Like a different feel? Yeah, I think there will be. I think it's early still, but I, you know, you'd like, um, you'd like for them, that feeling to be there. I mean, they still got to figure out how to, you know, do the little things right to become a team too. And, but competition is good for this group, for sure. A lot of guys talking about you know, loss of Rashid and loss of, of course, Jamarcus and that energy too to camp. And then maybe that they're, they're going to have to ask for more out of some of the leaders, leadership group as well to fill that void and, and then ultimately ask more from everybody. Is that just this, every year asking more from, from guys? Um, I think it's important this year. I really do. I, I don't know that you're going to replace the energy with those two guys that you mentioned, you know, she and Jamarcus are, you know, I don't know that you find somebody that jumps right into that role. I don't know that that can be authentic, right? I mean, it's hard for a young guy to do that too because they're still trying to find their place, right? But I don't know that you're, you're going to ask any of the vets to, you know, bring that same style of energy. You just want them to lead the way they're, they're wired to lead. Anything else is not going to be, it's not going to work. Look at the coaching staff, obviously some, some changes. How do you feel that dynamics work here? I know you stay one, but you've had some off season stuff together. What, what do you make of the, what are you expecting, I guess, from new, new roles and from JY and, and Mike Miller? Yeah, they're all, they're all great people. We, I, I'm, you know, I, I look around and I see our staff and I watch them work and it's, it's, this is where I'd probably insert an expletive <laughs> of joy, <laughs> but it's, it's so pleasing um, to see the way they work, the way they work together, how, um, how excellent they are uh, for, for the guys. And they put a lot of work in in the off season to make sure they're gonna be able to give these guys more when they came back. And uh, there have been some changes, but I think they're going to work out extremely well. Guys yeah. were joking a little bit about Mike Miller, how he's talking more to the players as a coach, and I think we heard of, heard from him all his, his entire career. How do you how do you think he's been embracing his new uh, his new coaching role from player? Yeah, I mean, the, we're asking him to get outside the, his comfort zone for sure, um, and he'll he'll find his way with that. I don't. I imagine he could stand up in front of the room and not say a word and he could get a lot out of them. So um, it, it is going to be interesting. There probably will be a few jokes along the way. Anthony Bennett was a first round pick last year, was with the team all year. Can you give yeah. us a thought on why he was released? Yeah, he's just not healthy. You asked that question earlier about who, who might, he's the guy that, now that I think about it, the, the, the names, specific names, he's the guy that we, we hope would be able to rehab and, and get back in the room. Certainly not writing him off, for sure. Not Ali Fayed. Ali Fayed, yeah. He, we're going to rehab. There's, there's some guys that we'd like to, um, you know, let Al and his staff work with to see where we can get them. Um, you know, and that's uh, one of those, we have the discussions at night uh, with the whole staff, and there's guys that you just, we just didn't get a chance to see enough. But in terms of Anthony Bennett, for sure, he's, we picked him for a reason and we like him. He just, he's not healthy right now. When you have to delay practice for an air quality situation on day one, does it 
kind of make him worry a bit about what the whole year is going to be like. And that seems perfect. Dalton Schoen reminded me of that. He said last year something happened or whatever, and and he just remembers it being perfect. So yeah, it's awesome. Worked out well. Spot A for Newfeld, Oliveira, and what else was missing? I bet oh, you and they, Nick, and Nick, I bet you they wished sure. it was just a spot A. They'll yeah. be they'll be back when they can get back. And yeah. we'll make sure we give them the right amount of time. Um, obviously, those three names in particular are they've proven to be extremely important pieces to our club, and we're going to make sure that they, uh, when they take the field finally, they'll be in the best shape they can be in. Could coach speak, is there anything longer expected from any of those guys? Anyone you're no. worried about that might no. not be? Yeah? No. Okay. With the uh, scheduling challenges today, reassuring or feel good that uh, some of your veteran players get the guys up when they needed to get up to get on the field? Yeah, it's day one at camp. I think everybody's fired up. I think to a man, they would have been disappointed if they had to be held back and we didn't get a chance to get out here. But Mother Nature cooperated. And uh, I, from the, you know, I'm certainly not a meteorologist, but from what you hear, this could be a dry summer. And um, we'll be dealing with this. And if this is all we have to deal with, that's great. Because a lot of people are, <laughs> have a, you know, when a forest fire is raging by your town, <laughs> there's a lot more they're worrying about. And so, Switching practices around is really nothing. Mike, what did you make of Anthony Bennett's rookie year, looking back at it? Yeah, I thought he did well. I thought, like every other rookie, when they come in their second year, they're primed to to really show a lot more. And, and just with the comfort level, I thought he was going to come in and, and uh, do great things. So, um, you know, for that young man, it's very, it's unfortunate. And it's certainly... You know, we give him we give him a day to sort of collect his thoughts and then kick him in the butt and get him going. And he, he'll be fired up. He'll be fired up tomorrow to to, to get after it and see where uh, see where the rehab's going to take him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.